What's up, Clo Nation? Welcome to a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This is a Wi-Fi battle versus my friend Kayla. Um, I have played with her since basically when I started doing competitive back in early Gen 5 stages. And I will be battling her today in a random 6v6 general battle. Anything goes kind of megas allowed, whatever you want to bring. And, uh, you know, I hit her up on Facebook. He's like, you want to battle for the channel? It's like, sure. But anyway, show me and my friends some support. Let's get to, let's go to 30 likes for this Colo Gola for this video. And don't forget to hit um, the subscribe button and subscribe to Colo Nation. Keep it growing as I provide more and more content. And let's see our team for today. We'll be Salamence, Shiftry, Azumarill, Politoed, Deoxys, S, and Charizard Y. Um, our alternate team could have been Ferrothorn, uh, Rotom Wash, Houndoom, Kangaskhan, Manetric, and Bisharp. But I wasn't feeling that. So we're going to go with the first party. And her team tonight will be... We're going to be seeing Charizard, Greninja, Heliosk, um, a Haxorus, a Lucario, and a Bird Jesus Pidgeot. Ooh, I like that. I like that Pidgeot touch at the end. That is a nice looking team right there. Look at our team. There is a decent amount of weakness to um to my elements here with Earthquake, with the Dragon Claw, and with the um uh well Shiftry would be helpful here too. If she mega evolves into Y, it's really helpful. But we're going to start off going with um, Deoxys just to get heavy damage off. Charizard, Zoomerill, Polito, Shiftry, and Salamence, not a dragon. Best of luck to both sides. Don't forget to smash the like button. And in the comment section below, please tell me who you think will be our most pivotal player in this match. Will it be Salamence, Shiftry, Zoomerill, Polito, Deoxys, S, or will it be Charizard? And here we go. I've not played her actually since um, I had my white two, and that was last time we actually battled. So, this should be a great match. It's been a long, long time. And it should go really, really well. Ba dum bum ba dum bum bum Alright, so she's issuing the challenge. Deox our Deoxys is going to come out first. She's going to send out that Charizard. And right away, um, I'm thinking about going in for the Psycho Boost. I'm not sure uh, how this thing is EV trained or not. So, let's look at that damage calc real quick. Damage calc would be Charizard. Now we're going to go and assume she has a Charizard Y set. It seems more common based on her team. Um, and she, uh, of course, is fighting my Deoxys X. And uh, let's see. All right, so Psycho Boost won't kill. Our best bet here, we're going to go for the Dark Pulse. Hope for the flinch. See what we can do. She's gonna Charizard X. She's gonna make this Charizard X, which is a little bit of an issue, actually. Oh, uh, I expected Y, which is slightly less bulky. This is a problem, a little bit. But our Dark Pulse does a decent amount of damage. We do get hit with a flamethrower, though, and it takes her reasonably well, about you know two thirds. Um, so we're gonna go. Hmm, what should we do? I mean, Psycho Boost honestly will kill at this range, so we're gonna go for that. Um, hopefully we can knock this thing right out. And we do knock out the Charizard X with that Psycho Boost. Hmm. Alright, so her next Pokemon, we've knocked out the Charizard. I'm expecting probably a Greninja to come out now, that our special is uh, reduced. Luckily, we do have superpower for physical coverage. And... Dun 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 Alright, so the Haxorus is going to come out. Now, we do carry Ice Beam, but that's not going to be too, too effective. Um, I want to see the difference in damage we can do with Ice Beam. Um, superpower is there, so special attack minus 2. Ice Beam versus Haxorus. 38.6%. Um, so we're really not going to be useful here at all. So we are going to switch out now. And we're going to go and set up our Polytoad with Make It Rain. Um, and uh, let's see. Hmm. Alright. So we're going to set up Polytoad. 
Drizzle is going to cause it to rain, which is really helpful for us, especially when we get to our Azumarill. I mean, the dragon types in general, but um, especially powerful in the rain. Even Aqua Jet has the potential to KO half her team. Um, we're going to take that Dragon Claw reasonably well and go for an Ice Beam. And we should be okay with that. Take that really well. Um, we're going to see another Dragon Claw come and hit us. We're going to survive that, and our Ice Beam should knock this thing out. Our Toad. Um, it doesn't, but it comes close. We don't get quite get that kill, though. So we are going to be forced to switch now, and let's go with the Zoomerill. We're going to switch into a Zoomerill, expecting another Dragon Claw. That Dragon Claw will be absorbed by our Zoomerill due to its Fairy Typing, which will allow us to um, kind of wipe it out. So we are going to see her use the Earthquake. That was a great play right there. That was a really great play. I could have switched into Salamence and taken that pretty well, but um, that was really smart on my opponent's part. So, kudos to you, Kayla. That was really good. Um, we get, so, we got Aqua Jet doing about 24% damage. We should be able to knock out from that range. Waterfall will kill. We can go for Waterfall. Because, honestly, um, the only thing that can take that really well is her Greninja. So, actually, Play Rough would be a lot better. Play Rough would do a lot more damage to anything on our team. Play Rough it is. We are going to go for Play Rough. Um, she is going to withdraw. And our player off should do a lot of damage. Yep, a Heliosis, a Heliosis is going to come out. And our player off is going to knock this thing out. So we did knock out that dry skin at Heliosis. Um, and that is going to be really great for us. She probably expected us to use Aqua Jet or Waterfall. But luckily we chose the safer route and went for, um, what's it called, play rough. Which would knock out a lot of her team. So Helioisk is down. Um, if she decides to use Mega Lucario, Mega Lucario, um, Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch wouldn't do enough to knock us out. None of her moves would. So we're gonna go for another player off because we are choice banded. Don't even have to worry about switching. Or a Spear is gonna hit us. Um, it shouldn't do too much damage at all. Now, we're going to take that really well. We're going to get off a of play rough, and that play rough should do about 84, 85%. Oh, wow, it actually knocked out the uh, Lucario. Okay, then. It's fine by me. We did knock that out. Choice Band. That might be why we actually killed it. Choice Band. Um, choice Band. Yep, yeah, Choice Band is why we killed that thing off. And Greninja is going to come out now. What's resistance? Doesn't know steel moves, doesn't know poison moves, so we should be okay anyway. Um, we might get hit with the grass now here. That's my main issue. So we are gonna switch. Um, let's go. Expecting the grass not. Let's go into Charizard real quick. We're gonna go into Charizard. And. Um, that's gonna be an extra sensory coming to us gonna do a lot more damage than I wanted it to and now we're gonna go and use um, our mega evolution then we're gonna air slash hoping for the flinch because this thing is really frail so I'm probably gonna go for flinch here use extra sensory um, I don't think it just turned psychic so we should be okay um, this is a torrent Greninja um, don't forget guys this is not really a competitive match I just happen to have this team on me at the same time so please, you know, remember that this is not an actual competitive match. We're going to do a lot of damage, plus get the flinch on that Greninja. So we're going to just simply go for, um, let's see. Air Slash is resisted by nothing that's left. But Solar Beam is resisted by, resisted by everything but this thing. Same with Flamethrower. So Air Slash really is what we have to use at the moment. So Air Slash is going to come. We're going to knock out that Greninja with that. So we have knocked out the Greninja, that's a really great part um, for our team, and for the game and as a whole. Hmm. What's she gonna send out next and next? So we've knocked out the Greninja, the Haxorus is gonna come out, and we are gonna simply go for another one of these, um, little shindigs. Why am I calling it a shindig? I don't know. But we're going to go for another Air Slash and see what we can do.
So we are going to knock out the Haxorus, and we do have a Pidgeot left in reserves. So there we go. We're going to do that. Let's see how how we do against this thing. Um, I think a Flamethrower might end up finishing this thing off. So we're going to go for that. We're going to use Flamethrower here. And that is going to knock out the, uh, the Pidgeot, and that is going to be a GG. That is going to be a 6-0. And um, it was a great match. It's been a while since I've played. So long. Um, so thanks again for battling me. It was really a pleasure. I hope to do this again soon sometime. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. So please um, please smash that like button. And of course, follow um, Colo Nation. Please subscribe to us. I have my Twitter link as well in the description. I'd love to hear from you guys what I should do in future battles. And is, well, just communicate with me. I love talking to you guys. That's why I'm here. I really am here just because I love watching and playing and just interacting with you guys. So please do that. And as always, this is Al, your Colo King. Thanks for watching and I'm checking out.